we just connected so fast emotionally and like we just had so many things yeah. in common um i feel like as time passed i just felt like it was right like there mm -hmm. were so many signs especially yeah. based on how we even got to the experiment in the first place mm -hmm. um it just made yeah. sense it just made sense getting to experiment we were both basically kind of we're not going to be a part of like love is blind because there were other factors outside of our control that were preventing us from actually getting to be a part of this experiment yeah. so when we were here we really just wanted to give it our all and really be yeah. as genuine as possible yep. and i think what was it day maybe like four or five we basically solidified that yeah. we were the one for yeah. one another and at that point we basically made sure that we were going to be quote unquote like girlfriend boyfriend yeah we knew that at that point like our love was that strong we didn't know if it was going to be you know Beyonce material yet, <laughs> but we were confident in that. Yeah, I think the specific moment for me was the morning of proposal day. And that's why I knew, I said, hey, I don't know if I'm quite ready to be engaged yet, but I really want to take the chance with Amy. Yeah, no, I feel like for, for me it was like we like to say a slow burn. It was very gradual. There wasn't mm -hmm. really a moment that I was like, okay, yes. But like, mm -hmm. it was just so many things about his character, his morals, how we had fun with each other, how we got into deep conversations with each other, like how mm -hmm. he initiated conversation, like so many different things. Mm -hmm. I feel like because of that, um, I just felt like, you know, he's a he's an amazing man. We get along so oh, well baby. together. <laughs> we have a great connection. Like I'm it's a no brainer, you know, so. So going into our wedding day, we were very, very confident. I just knew. I mean, yeah. there were so many signs and I just knew and like the connection was so strong and like, I just, I don't know, we were just attached at the hip and. When it came down to it, I think we spent maybe one night apart from when we actually, after the reveal to yeah. the night before the wedding. And at that point I knew that, hey, if life is like this before the wedding, it's gonna be even better we after the wedding. We didn't wanna be apart. Like we never wanted to yeah. be apart. So. I think that's like the really big thing. Cause they yeah. see other couples that wanted to take their space, have their little breaks, but we never felt the need to do that. Yeah. And at that time it was just- It was peace. It worked out good and it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like the biggest challenges that, or the biggest challenge that we faced um, was the whole birth control conversation. I feel mm -hmm. like we were just in polar opposite ends of where we kind of understood ourselves and one another. And so we just kind of had to get to this middle ground where we had consistent conversations, um, heard each other out, educated mm -hmm. <laughs> each other. Um, and I feel like with time, like we finally got a solid understanding of like, what we wanted to pursue. When it comes down to it, I feel like the two biggest factors that lead to divorce are finances and kids. Yeah. And I want to make sure that we were both on the same page with those. Yeah. And if we weren't, we found a way to get on the same page before the wedding day. Exactly. My dad saying what he said before the wedding meant the whole world to me. I look up to him so much. He is such a role model to me. So it meant everything. And it was more so because of the support that he had behind his mm -hmm. words. Um, I feel like my favorite thing that he said to me is I love how Johnny looks at you. Um, it's like, it's all in the eyes. And that meant everything to me. It just mm -hmm. made it feel even more right than it was. So yeah. yeah. I feel like listening back to the words that Amy's dad was saying before the actual wedding, it was so nice because I felt like I was truly being accepted into a new family. Mm -hmm. And I think that was one of the biggest fears I had was will the family actually like me or not? So him being so open and respectful and honest, it felt really good. And I feel like that's a huge part too because it's yeah. like when you're getting married, you're merging two families. Yeah. And so the acceptance and love from both sides was mm -hmm. the world to yeah. us. Yeah. And I feel like that can also lead to problems like later down the line too. If a family doesn't truly accept you, they'll always find faults with you. Yeah. And it's, you don't want any negatives in the marriage. Yeah. I do believe love is blind. Love's blind. I've, <laughs> I've always said that and I'll, and I'll always say that. I, and I've always believed that. I feel mm -hmm. like love 
truly comes from the soul connection. Um, so I'll always believe that love is blind. Mm -hmm. I feel like what I learned was to always trust myself, trust my gut, and yeah, be confident in my actions and what mm -hmm. I do. I believe love is blind. <laughs> I think the big thing I learned during this whole experiment was to just go all in. You can't dip your toe in the water. You have to dive in, and once you're in, it's gonna be fantastic. Exactly.